everyone and welcome to this week's vlog. Um, I thought I would really, really quickly check in. I've been trying to film all week, but to be honest, I've just had one of those weeks where really all I've done is work <laughs> and take Vela for a walk and rinse repeat. So there hasn't really been very much interesting stuff to show. And while, you know, Vela's happy tale on walks, it's lovely. I thought it was maybe a little bit boring. So today it is Sunday. I am flying out for Denmark um, tomorrow, which is very, very exciting. Um, so today is a day where it's currently 10 o'clock and I'm just about to head to shopping center to pick up some last minute gifts. Uh, the F1 is on today. Um, I am one of those people who watch Drive to Survive and have now been addicted to Formula One since. So um, it's a brilliant, Drive to Survive is a brilliant documentary on Netflix, but be warned that I've had a few messages from other people that, like me, got addicted to F1 after that. So that's on today. It's the final today, so it's a very important race. And then I need to pack. So the final big decision is, how much knitting do I take? How much knitting am I realistically going to get done? So all of that to come today. Um, It will hopefully be a bit of a quicker one than last time. Thank you for everyone who stuck through it. <laughs> I know it was a long one, but before I go, I thought I'd quickly show you what I'm wearing today. Let's see if I can do a good sort of mirror angle. I know the colour will be a bit off because the window is behind me, so you have to apologise that. And I just realised my fringe, my fringe is doing its own thing today. Hey ho. I am wearing my Sunday sweater from Petite Knit. Um, so it's this round yoke um with um knits and pearls that creates this kind of almost like sundial design um the sleeves are um these massive um balloon sleeves as you can tell this is where my arm actually is um so actually you do increases i think on the arms and then it's um like really really short ribbing um and yeah this is knitted in Camel was the sniff nook and Isaiah silk my hair. It was the second sweater that I ever knitted. And now that I'm a better knitter, there's so many things that I did wrong in this, but the yarn choice for this is just stunning. Uh, if there's a combo of yarn that I could only knit in further, this might be one of them. Um, as anyone who watches the podcast will know, I'm really sensitive do my hair but I am not sensitive to this at all so yeah I thought I'd bring it out and it is if I see it in actual sunlight it is a beautiful like forest forest green and then I'm wearing another pair of Mox and Spencer's jeans so these are um like straight legged jeans um they were a bit of like an awkward shape um, they were a tiny bit too wide on the street and probably a little bit too long. I preferred this kind of ankle ankle length, um, but after tumble drying it, I quite like how they're not like super skinny, but not super wide. And then I'm wearing these little cute socks with a little dog on it. Um, I also thought I'd show you um, yesterday, um, well, the day before Simona from, well, I think it was that, so anyway, uh, Simona from Knit asked if I wanted um, a, well, what my sort of wish list was for a Christmas present from her shop. She's like, you can pick anything at all, anything from the shop. Um, so I wrote her like a list of different things and the very much like true knitting related things I'll show in the next podcast because I just think that's where they live sort of the most naturally. But one of my wishes was this beautiful bag, um, which is from Mood mod whatever this brand is called that no one knows i don't either i know it is danish um this is called riga um let me show you riga like the city see riga and there's a big and a small version so this is the the small version and obviously um you know this was kindly gifted to me from simona um so it's this beautiful bag that has, it has the zipper on the front. It has a really big zipper on the back. But what I really love is, let me open it. Put all my stuff in here yesterday, ready to go for today. It has a 
big front pocket and a big front uh, back pocket with a zipper. You can see it fits cards as well. It has two of these like smaller pockets around the zippered sort of coin purse part. Now I actually always carry small bags um, and I was carrying a small bag that was roughly the same size but definitely didn't fit as much stuff. Um, so I'm really excited for this and I'm so thankful Simona gave it to me. So if you're on the lookout for a bag like this, it is um, real leather. It also comes in that beautiful whiskey colour. Um, but yeah, I just absolutely love it and so practical. I should probably close it so I can show you it on. Here it is all on. Really light, casual, easy, um, but it will fit so much stuff. I think it'll be really practical for traveling because my previous bag was really small and structured and I just found that it really quickly ran out of room, which was really annoying. So yeah, I thought I'd give a little shout out. So thank you so much, Simona, who probably won't watch this because she doesn't watch my videos, but anyway. Let's get going before it is time for the Formula One and I am still in the shop. disappointing race for us um so well time to move on um it's time to do some packing first off i have to deal with all this clean laundry which i'll speed up i currently have Fela lying here on the floor floor in her bed let's see how long that lasts i'm gonna fold the clothes first and then it's time to decide what gets to come and what doesn't <laughs> so I popped you up on the watch because I thought I'd <laughs> managed to get all of this lovely like time lapse photo like footage of me um folding all my laundry and I was like this is gonna be so nice like it's gonna be great video content but I haven't because it had stopped recording so I took you through all the stuff I'm bringing so I picked some jeans I packed all my um knitwear so for knitwear I am bringing my cardigan number seven for my favorite things knitwear my office sweater that i test knitted for knit flitter my darling wrap that i test knitted for knitting for olive and that had sponsored yarn so add gifted i guess i should say and then we also have the fan sweater which is a pattern by knitting for olive um i have it packed already some of my things in these which are packing cubes and they are some of the best investments um i've made for traveling and then we have this big pile of all my other clothes. So I have brought two different shirts. Um, I have this like beautiful, like quite long flowy dress from Marks and Spencers, a nice little white top, and then loads of basics. Um, I was talking about how one of my favorite sustainable brands are, or shops are a shop called Sound Choice, which is down in Exeter. And so these joggers are from there and they're just really comfy joggers. <laughs> they're quite thick and so they're great when I take Fela for a walk. I don't think Fela's in shop, but she's currently like fully splitted out on the bed, loving life. Um, so yeah. Oh, and I forgot to say that um, for tomorrow I've packed, these are like wide legged um, trousers. So this is what I'm gonna wear tomorrow. So I'm gonna wear these wide leg trousers because they're also quite big. I brought up a t-shirt for that and then we have my Phil Kalana last time. Um, this because this is quite big, but I feel like I'll just be so comfy to her. And like, if we are going on like outdoorsy things, this will certainly keep me warm. So, and finally, we have my pajamas from a brand called Kate Barnet. Um, she's a really lovely lady that gets all of these sewn in India. And it's a very cute story. So, the next step is just to get 
some of this into packing cubes and then I need to fit all my presents in the rest and with the space left over I then have to figure out what knitting I'm taking. Hey, it's just someone on the street, baby. It's okay. And yeah, what knitwear I'm taking and what kind of knitwear, like how many needles I take and things like that. So I'll quickly pack this and I'll be back. <laughs> trousers I'm bringing Lululemon leggings because they're really comfy. Um, I bought these cream jeans before I bought, bought Fela and I cannot wear this kind of like light jean around her so I'm going to see if I can't get some wear off it back in Denmark and then I'm going to bring the sort of faded black trousers that I showed you last episode. <laughs> buy um, anything non um, non cruelty free but Ruby Roo used to be my lipstick colour of choice and my previous one just got so gross um, and I saw this today and I just couldn't pass it up like Ruby Roo is such a like it's like it used to be the colour that I would wear nights out and all of this and then I saw they made these little minis and boots and I just thought like I probably won't get through a whole actual like this stick top of Ruby Woo but I think I'll get through this. Is red your colour? Do you think red would look nice on you? Is it just your colour? I think it would be quite nice on you actually. You probably shouldn't eat lipstick this one. Should you? That's what I get for leaving it out. There's not as much room in that suitcase as I had hoped. <laughs> so for colours I know that I'm going to be bringing all of these because I have a planned project that I think I can finish while I'm home. So I will be taking those. And what else do we have in here? Um, that, that, that. I would really like to find some of my hair that matches the second strand. Probably not my hair that much as this, which is hard to show up properly, but it's like purpley pink. Um, it's from Sakami, one of my favourite dyes. I should probably do it that way. And it is in the colour Baby Yoga, which I know she still does. You may enjoy Fela sniffing him. I think what I'm going to do is that up here have all the sock yarns I bought. And I feel like sock yarns might be a good thing this i think then look that four ply yeah so this is dk weight which i know there's a pattern for and then there's this erin weight and those two i can probably finish up while back home you are very cute aren't you let's see do you have any red lipstick on i don't think so i don't think so so um we have all the presents and tiny few bits of yarn yeah and then we have that over here so now i just need to decide what knitting needles and the project to go in my rucksack and um, probably need to empty this out as well so i'm gonna 
bring this on board the flight, I think. I feel I've been conking um, because it's surprisingly big, but I just need to figure out my needle situation. So one definite way. I'm just going to take extra balls just in case. Um, but one whip that I'm bringing home and hoping to finish is my first sweater test knit from Home Knits. As you can tell, I have a full finished sleeve over here and the body is all done and I'm just missing the last rounds on the sleeve, which you just do pop them on top of each other. It's not, it's not that much. Um, oh, thank you, baby. Thank you for helping. Thank you. Um, so I'm going to bring that home and this is needle size, I think three and a half. So they can probably work the socks as well. So I need to find room for that. <laughs> is my progress of my current test knit um, I should say kindly that the yarn is kindly sponsored by easy is ass knit <laughs> um, I always say it like ass so I do apologize it is not it's ass it's obviously a dress quite hard to fit in picture so I've finished the first sleeve up here I've finished this will obviously be I'll just pop you down roll neck um, you can see here I picked it up here I really like that line um, if I show you here, we also have where I picked up for the shoulders. This one is okay. I think in particular on this side, it's quite neat. And then today I've just started to slip. So um, the feedback deadline is tomorrow. So I'm hoping to get at least one slip done, maybe both. Um, and then that's the, the whole sort of first sweater done. And then... I basically am just missing a, a sleeve, so this will probably take up most of my bag, but I would just really like to finish it because it's quite a big project, so I also know roughly how much yarn to bring, so all of this will be going in my hand luggage, um, and the rest will be packed as haberdashery, I think. So yeah, that's the progress, but considering that the last time I saw you, which was, oh, I think I'd... Had I done it for a week? It's, no. So just, we had midnight on Thursday last week. So this is a bit, it's obviously Sunday today. So it's a bit over a week of knitting. But last time I saw you, I hadn't even uh, joined in the round yet. Um, So I think this is pretty good progress. I am usually pretty hardcore about weaving in ends. And there's still a few to go. But I can always do that. I'm not too worried about that. But yeah, I'd really like to finish this and get somewhere off it out of it back home. I've propped you up again and I'm, I feel like I'm just going to finish off now because the only thing left is I'm going to sort through the stuff to take in my carry-on um, and then that's basically it. So it's sorting like chargers and um, my project. I know that usually like I've asked before in Edinburgh, Edinburgh Airport does allow you to bring knitting needles. These aren't particularly sharp um, my things. So I'm not too worried about that. I might bring um, cable stuffers in my hand luggage so that if they won't let me take them, which would be annoying, but quite unlikely, then I can always just switch them over um, to cables instead and live without knitting on it. And I've obviously brought lots of small projects because small projects still take time and they're easier to take with me if I'm going places. So I'll take that. And that's basically it. My flight is at six o'clock tomorrow morning. So I'm going to edit this and sign off now because I'm going to go spend the rest of the evening with Ben and Fela and do some more knitting. And um, hopefully the next time I see you, it will actually be considerably more exciting. And <laughs> I'm hoping to get a chance to go, go to knitting for Olive tomorrow, which is in Copenhagen where I'm flying to not where my family's from. I've never been to the Knitting for Olive shop, so that's quite exciting. So I'm hoping that next week's Vlogmas will contain much more interesting content, but I'm sure we all know what it's like when it's not very busy. So yeah, 
Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye.